The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And you can see the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us and now and for our Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, glory of your priest, grant, we pray, that helped by the intercession of your martyr, St. Fabian, we may make progress by communion in the faith and by worthy service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Melchizedek, king of Salem and priest of God Most High, met Abraham as he returned from his defeat of the kings and blessed him. And Abraham apportioned to him a tenth of everything. His name first means righteous king, and he was also king of Salem, that is, king of peace. Without father, mother, or ancestry, without beginning of days or end of life, Thus made to resemble the Son of God, he remains a priest forever. It is even more obvious if another priest is raised up after the likeness of Melchizedek, who has become so, not by a law expressed in a commandment concerning physical descent, but by the power of a life that cannot be destroyed. For it is testified, you are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Be you are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scepter of your power, the Lord, will stretch forth from Zion, rule in the midst of your enemies. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is a princely power in the day of your birth, in holy splendor, before the day star, like the dew, I have begotten you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn and he will not repent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if, they, if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent. Looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart, Jesus said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, according to the 20th Amendment to the United States Constitution, one president left office and another one entered as we were praying our angelus right before mass. And our country is in a place that I know in my, in my life I didn't expect I'd ever see. There's a lot of injury in this country. There's a lot of pain. There's a lot of people on both sides with, with, with arguments against the other and it's drawn people apart. It's drawing families apart, friends apart. And for whatever it's worth, today was a new beginning. And we are now called to respond as Catholics. What do we do? What do we, how do we, how do we re- respond as Catholics? If we look at our reading today, Jesus looks at the, at the accusers to say to him, what are they going to do, do God's, when I do God's will? And it's kind of an interesting twist of, uh, turn, turn of phrase where the man has a withered hand and we know that the underlying uh, message of Jesus' ministry is the, the, um, the kingdom of God is at hand. All right? How symbolic that this hand, the, the, the part of our body that does God's work or does the devil's evil, is restored. It's restored at the word of Jesus Christ. Well, then that brings us back to us. What's our function now as, as, as baptized Catholics? What do we do? We have to bring that word to the world. There's People on one side who are very unhappy with the last four years. There's people on another side who seem to be very unhappy about what they perceive is going to happen in the next four years. But here we are. We can continue the hate. That'll be really easy to do. We can, we can, we can just kick the ball back the other way and, 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 and see, if, see if that's going to happen. But we need to remember we are Catholics and we have, to, we have to respond as Catholics. We have to remember that we are here to bring that word of healing to the world. That's our function. We are the salt and the light. The salt brings flavor. The light pushes out darkness. That's what we are. And I'm not going to pretend for a minute to, to deceive you into thinking that I am not myself, you know, that I don't have strong opinions about, what, about what's happening. I do. But I have to remember, where am I rooted? I'm rooted in Jesus Christ. That's, that's, that's what I was ordained to. That's, and most of all, that's what I was baptized to do. Not my ordination, but my baptism. I was baptized as a Catholic so that I would go out there and I would, I would, I would minister to people and I would proclaim Jesus Christ. So we, we seriously need to, to, to remember that. We're, we're called to respond, as Jesus does here, with love, with nonviolence. When we decide that all the hate that we feel is, 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 is coming at us or against us. We can say, well, what about this? Well, there was a riot at the Capitol. Yeah, sure, but the other side had the riots in the cities. What about, what about, what about? All that. What about it stops now? We just say on both sides, regardless of whatever side, political side you're on here, 
It stops now, and we stop acting like partisans, and we start acting like Christ. Let the people see the Christ in us before they see the donkey or the elephant. That's probably the best way to go forward. Let, us, let them see the Christ in us. So what I would ask everybody to do is don't, don't pray for Trump or for, or for Biden. Pray for them both. Pray for both of them. We've seen too much hatred going back and forth. This is a, an opportunity where we say we're going to pray for them both. But also, we should be mindful that there are people, as we've seen, in power, both in, in commercial power, in political power, who are seeking to suppress rights. And that's not a, that's not a, uh, um, just a, some, some fantasy, we're having. It's, it's becoming very real. We're seeing companies being shut down because of, of, of their, their desire to promote free speech. We're seeing these things happen. We must remember that we have rights not given to us by a government, not given to us by a Google or an Amazon, but by God Almighty. That's where our rights come from. And that baptism I mentioned is the same baptism that says, regardless of what, of, of what oppression there might be against us, we are commanded to have hope and we are commanded to proclaim Jesus Christ. Oh, but you're not allowed. It's illegal here. You can't do this here. You've got to say it over there. We are commanded to proclaim Jesus Christ. And that is what's going to bring hope to other people in the next four years, is Catholic people digging down and, and really getting into the core of their Catholicism and acting like Catholics. So we pray for America today. We pray for uh, outgoing President Trump, and we pray for our new president, Joe Biden. Let us turn to our Heavenly Father with our needs and those of the whole world. For the Church, that under the direction of her righteous King of Peace, she may walk in unity and in holiness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our political leaders, that they may see clearly that it is better to save life than to destroy it, and take the steps needed to respect the lives of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For vocations to the priesthood, that many young men will come forward to bear upon their souls the mark of one who is a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who have asked for our prayers and for those in special need of, of prayer, that Jesus may restore what is withered in their lives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord our for our country, that we may be healed of the division that's, that, that's among us, for our outgoing President Trump, and for our new president, Joe Biden, that he may have a, a fruitful and successive, a successful uh, uh, administration that, that seeks to heal the divisions in our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Deacon Contreras, for whom this Mass is being offered, and for those who have gone, in, uh, gone before us into the unveiled presence of God, that their judgment may be merciful, and that they might be at peace in his sight, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask that you hear and answer these prayers, if they be in accord with your will, through Christ our Lord. Blessed be you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, for the earth and work of human hands, so become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, for the divine and work of human hands, so become our spiritual drink. Therefore, as we 
celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, your spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Ed ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso, esti videa patri omnipotenti, in unitati spiritus sancti, omnes honor et gloria, per omnia saecula saeculorum. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says the Lord.
the body part. The body part. Day. 
Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Fabian faithful in your service and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a reminder that after the 7 p.m. Mass tonight, there will be healing prayers offered during the Holy Hour. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke you, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast in the hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, singing in your souls. Amen. O bless the Lord, my soul, his grace to thee proclaim. And all that is within me join to bless his holy name. Oh, bless the Lord my soul, his mercies bear in mind. Forget not all his benefits.